Hello, my name is Farhad Sofesi from Zurich, Switzerland, and I'm here at ESCRS 2016 in Copenhagen. Um, I am an ophthalmic surgeon and a basic and clinical researcher, and my main motive in the last years was to bring cross-linking technology to the slit lamp. And you may ask, why do we need CXL at the slit lamp? Um, the answer can be given in different layers. Uh, first of all, or the most, two most important topics are to reduce costs and at the same time to give access to more ophthalmologists to, to be able to perform and use the technology. <clears throat> Cross-linking at the slit lamp we see for two indications. On one hand, we could theoretically also perform keratoconus treatments at the cross at the slit lamp at the office. I remember at IROC in Zurich where we, where we established the very first cross-linking technology back in 2002 and 3. For the first six years of doing cross-linking for keratoconus, I always removed the epithelium of my patients at the slit lamp. I didn't go into the OR. And there is no immediate need to go to the OR in my eyes because at the end of any cross-linking procedure the surface will be free of any pathogen. So we could see keratoconus treatments that reliably work reliably well with 10 minutes and probably also quite reliably well with 5 minutes and 18 milliwatts in the future at the slit lamp. But this would not be the main indication for cross-linking at the slit lamp. The main indication and the global need is corneal infection. And the reason corneal infection is such a big burden in ophthalmology has several layers. On one hand, it's a leading cause of global blindness. On the other hand, the antibiotic resistance is, is in the entire field of medicine advancing very rapidly and we will soon run out of therapeutic options because quinolones we usually use as an antibiotic treatment are a class of antibiotics that are 37 years old. So in, in a few years the resistance will drastically increase and this is an imminent warning of the World Health Organization on a global level. So any method that you could use to bypass antibiotic use and to directly kill bacteria and fungi at the same time would be highly welcome. And that's another reason uh, that why I focused all my research and clinical efforts on PAC cross-linking for infection. It is an unspecific killing of both bacteria and of fungi at the same time. And in some regions of the world, hot subtropical, tropical regions like India, for example, there is by far more than 50, 60 or 70 percent of mixed infections, bacterial and fungi, and you have no chance by treating with antibiotics alone. And lastly, costs of treatment. 90% um, of all ulcers might be relatively easy to handle, but some of them give us a major headache and require a lot of doctor's visits to, to get rid of the problem or to control the problem. And while antibiotics might be inexpensive in some parts of the world, we, the doctors, are the expensive part. If I tell a patient living in Bangladesh that the patient should come back at least half a dozen times because of his ulcer treatment, the patient will not come back half a dozen times because he cannot afford the doctor. So a treatment modality that would reduce or, or ideally be a one-time treatment for, for an infection would be highly beneficial. And we would love to see puck cross-linking at the slit lamp for early ulcers, not for advanced ulcers. Early ulcers up to two millimeters in size um, should show a very good responsiveness to the treatment. And lastly, we have laboratory published validation. We will soon have clinical validation. In a, we have a number of phase one and phase two studies, but we are currently doing a phase three prospective randomized multicenter trial comparing cross-linking against the current standards of care, which is antimicrobial agents. And hopefully soon we will be able to, to, you, to give access to the technology to all by performing it at the slit lab. Um, one, one other very interesting input I received from a cornea specialist working in the tertiary center, the chairman of the, of, of the department saying, and on top of this, I do not like to take infectious patients into my aseptic environment because it's a danger for the others. If I had a dedicated small room with a cross-linking uh, device on a slit lamp, then I could isolate these patients and give them treatment. So bigger centers could, could set up specialized areas, others would have to deal with them the way they deal with them right now in the usual setting.
my financial disclosures. Um, I am co-inventor on two patents related to cross-linking technology and I'm the chief uh, scientific officer of Imagine AG in Switzerland.